nice and smooth. There we go. That's one. Yeah, when it's new, of course, you know. So yeah, it's gonna come off. We're gonna take this guy off right here, and uh, we're gonna move forward. So um, we're gonna try and see if we can get this all done up. We're gonna put a little bit of a piece of um, shrink wrap right here just to touch up the ugliness. Like what Glenn said. Yeah, like our good man Glenn said. Look at that, handing out advice all the way from Cali. Way to go, the man living the dream over there. Hey, if you guys don't know who he is, look him up online. We'll drop him a link here. How's it going, everybody? This is Saul Castaneda with MCSE Green Wheels, and we're here at home just putting up these final touches. As you guys know, the details, 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 details of these cars, or any car that you build, is what kind of takes up the most time. You know, um, a lot of people don't see it. A lot of people keep saying, oh, you're just building it and building it and building it. Oh, shut up. No. It's a lot of detail stuff. Like, a lot of you won't even notice that I put in a copper tubing line that for my water cleaner because although we get the big fancy rubber line from... LMR, I just went ahead and made my own. And it's just details. And uh, again, with the details, one of the things that we're going to address is uh, one thing that we saw at first, and I've seen in a couple videos, and anybody talks about that big old wow, 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 and it's a gas evaporator here for our uh, coolant inlet, uh, uh, inlet hose right here that goes off our radiator. And this guy right here, this little, uh, this little valve right here, the reason we're going to take this guy off is you guys can see at the bottom I was marring it already because I was trying to spin it off. I thought it had threads. You know, of course I'm stupid, and it doesn't. So we we're trying to take it off because we can't use it. This is just an open pore. So what this is, this just releases air into your reservoir, which is a stock reservoir for a brand new 2011, 2012, and up Mustang. Unfortunately for us, we don't have that humongous piece of plastic that always looks awesome as soon as you open the hood of the car and it's just sitting there. Um, we don't have that. We don't have that. This is a gas relief. This is just to let out air. It goes into the reservoir. But if I don't plug it, I'm going to be spewing coolant all over the place. And another thing, I don't want just to push something over this. And then you know, you'll see the clamp on the here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take it off. And I'm going to show you guys how to take care of that. Put, it, uh, put a stock bleeder. Put a nice uh, bleeder screw on here. And... Uh, at the same time, like I said, we're going to go ahead and take care of this little issue we had with our upper radiator hose. It's not a big issue. We just, you know, ran out of a uh, little bit of this loom. So we're going to go ahead and put a little piece of uh, heat shrink. Again, thanks to Mr. Glenn. So let's get started, guys. Go ahead and remove it. We're going to take this hose off. We're going to actually disconnect it from the thermostat housing as well, too, and take off the top clamp because we're going to have to take it off. I would like to do it here in place, but the thing is, we're going to have to use the drill and we're going to have to re-thread that little hole, so I don't want any metal shavings inside this block. I don't want any excuses of it being like, oh yeah, well there's that that in there after this long of waiting. So we're just going to do the right thing, go ahead and take it off. If we need some silicone, we'll use it, but if I doubt it, this engine's never been ran. Let's get it going. There it is. Here. Right here just kind of uh, loosens this guy up like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and work both of them together, which is going to be a tricky part. Let's see if I can. I'm wondering if I need a... Now the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to about to fill this car up. So I don't want to have to be battling with this when the car has all the antifreeze in it and stuff. And So I'm just going to take care of this now. I was just going to cover it up, but it's going to bother me. As you guys know, everything will bother me eventually because it's not the way we do things here. So we might as well just take care of it so I don't have to address this issue later. So what I'm going to do, I think it's going to come right off. Beautiful. I'm going to leave this here. We're going to go down to the basement. We're going to take this off, get it all tapped in there, get this done. You're probably asking why I'm taking this off, but I think I explained at the beginning of the video that we're going to take it off 
because of this little piece right here. So we're going to put a little piece of uh, heat shrink on there to make it look cool. Without any horsepower. You know, that'll add some five, five horsepowers to it. So that'll be cool. So let's take this all downstairs and get this done. Uh-huh. I'm just going to cut me a little chunks. Just right there. That Mr. Glenn, bro, he's got some ideas. Look at him. I mean, it's okay. It's not like, but it just hides that big gash that we had there. You know, it looks cool. I'm digging it. Not too bad, not too shabby, guys. Respect your elders. Mr. Glenn, go sign up to his channel. We'll drop a link. Let's move it on to our inlet, uh, our hose inlet. So what we're going to do right now, um, the best thing to do that I have seen, and I have seen a couple videos of it, uh, I just looked up uh, Fox Body Coyote Coyote Swap Inlet Removal or uh, or bypass or a bleeder school install, and basically a lot of people are just saying, you know what, just clamp it down and wiggle it out. Now you can see, like right in there. That little green stuff, I'm, 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 I can imagine that's glue. Now, I guess I would ask, why would you glue this? Why wouldn't you just thread it and so we could screw it and unscrew it? But that would probably be something that a lot of people would say that I'm being stupid and using my head. So what we're going to do, we're going to ignore that. And You know what? I, I, I can heat it. Uh, I think if I can heat it, but I think that I'm gonna try it out like a lot of I didn't see on the videos that they use heat I'm guessing because it's aluminum you may soften it too much or something. I'm not entirely sure But uh, they I didn't see them heat it, but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, but what I did see them do they just smashed it down in here like so They wiggled it back and forth And they were able to So there is no threading on there, and as you guys can see, you know, it's pretty smashed up. I guess I could have just done that and left it alone, right? Yeah, it would look cool. I don't know. Who cares? So now we're going to go ahead and clean it up. And what we have here, this is a 1 8 by uh, N NPT27, so which would be the matching of this. So this is a tap. This is a tap kit. I got this from the tap kit. Now you can go online and you can find this little bleeder screw right here, which is what we're going to use. Uh, we're going to pre-drill this a little bit wider so we can get this guy on here. We're going to we're going to tap it, install it. We're going to put some Teflon tape there and set them in place. Now the important part about this is this little guy. When you open them, his job is to let out air. So we're trying to get as much air out of the engine as possible. This happens to be the highest point of the engine for coolant to come out of. So that's why they do it. Kind of GM does it. You know, some of the uh, some of the Fords have it now. You know, it's just an easier way to get the air out of the system because, as you guys know, for everybody out there building cars, what happens? That's right. Car overheats. You get an air pocket in there. Your car's overheating. So, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's my radiator. It's my fan. It's my thermostat. It's this." No, it's just a big pocket of air in there. And it's technically kind of saying that your car's got to take, you know, got to burp or fart, whatever manly way you want to say it, or feminine way you want to say it. I just say that that's kind of what has to happen. Car has to burp, and when there's a big pocket of air in there, it stops the coolant from doing its job. It just kind of hovers above. So that's why we put it at the highest point. Hence what we're going to do right now. Again, now this thing wouldn't work because we don't, we're not carrying that big plastic reservoir on the side, on the top of the car, like the stock 2011s, 2012s and up 
Fox, uh, Mustangs do. We are running our Misty Moshu uh, radiator system and that already has its overflow. So that's what we're doing. We're just going ahead and do this. Let's get it done. 2164 drill bit, um, which is just a shade under our uh, uh, tap. So we're going to go ahead and drill this out. It's a little tight in there, but I guess that's what we need, right? One size up. This is a 11, 11, 1 eighth by uh, 27. I know that I only need so much. But yeah. If you can get a shot. See what that's coming down. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep going until I come all the way to the bottom of there. And then we'll be able to install our little fitting. Pretty good. We're gonna put some Loctite on there. Let it be. First, we're gonna clean it off. Worked out to perfection. Awesome. Really cool, man. So you can sure you guys can see the threads in there. So if ever an issue, we could go ahead and take it off, but uh, this will work out just right. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and clean it up, reinstall it, and then call it a day. Mm -hmm. All right. That tapped in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put some Teflon tape on this. Yeah. See, he has to do that. That's just all ear. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. He has, I don't, I don't got anything application. Yeah, remember, I don't know if I told you, but I had a friend, uh, Resendez. Remember what I do. He used to say that he played the guitar and he did, but only by note. So I'm like, how long have you been practicing or playing for? Oh, like maybe three years. And I'm like, can you play this song? And he was like, no. No, I can't. And I'm like, why not? And I'm like, you know how to play the guitar, right? He goes, yeah, but he goes, I, I, don't, I don't have that ear thing. Um, he, goes, I, he goes, if you give me the notes, I'll play it for you. Goes, oh, so you have to I'm like, that's it? it? I'm like, that's dumb. <laughs> All right. You know, you think that after three years. Not bad, eh? Looks pretty good. And then there's really school going there. Let's put this all back together. At first. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, the, the bottom one's locked in place. Now our top one. Just gonna fit around down there real quick. Yes, so the gasket is on there. And we can start to install this. start crying. You know, it's funny. Everybody cries about how it's so hot and then winter comes and then you guys, don't, nobody wants to be around. All right. All right. Now, one more. There it is. And there you have it. Now we got our bleeder screw installed here, and we're not going to worry about any uh, coolant spillage. Now we can go ahead and move on to the next stage, start filling this baby up. want to thank everybody on our Facebook page. Guys, thanks for coming on there. Go ahead, give us a comment, give us a like. Go on there if you're looking for a fox body, because guess what? They're going to evaporate really, really fast. And not only that, prices keep going up. Or maybe you're into the other platform fox bodies, you know. You know, your little wagons, you know, you got your uh, your Fairmont wagons, you got your Cougar, your Gentleman's Thunder Mustang, Bird. your Thunderbird. You got all of those beautiful little cars out there you can go and go and get. You know, not, they all don't have to be Fox bodies because you're probably not going to find them. I want to thank everybody on our Instagram. Thank you for everybody. Please comment, like. I like the community. I like how everybody just keeps, uh, keeps it nice there. I know that we post a lot of cars and I know that sometimes we're a little slow but that's also part on you you guys gotta go on there and make sure you guys find your cars because they go fast as you guys can see we post, we post up as many as we can and uh, you know what, whatever we can get and I want to thank everybody here on our YouTube page and guys don't remember, don't forget we're also on Rumble, we're also on Pinterest, we're also on Reddit we're, we're on a bunch of different other platforms so go ahead and check nice. us out there we're on Minds but here on YouTube I want to thank everybody for the subscription for your subscription don't forget please subscribe wait up for the new videos coming up but most importantly guys please comment and like and don't forget subscribe 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 this is all with MCSC Green Wheels see you later let's fill this we're gonna fill this guy up later